hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Pastor Shea, a.k.a. Chaplain G, coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today. So today, I want to tell y'all a little story about a king named Nebuchadnezzar. So Nebuchadnezzar was um, one of the greatest kings in history. He ruled over Babylon when Babylon was one of the, uh, they, they contained some of the, the world's most renowned wonders like uh, the, the Babylonian hanging gardens and uh, statues and like their, their kingdom was just immense, right? And King Nebuchadnezzar ruled over uh, over Babylon, which was at the time, like I said, like one of the one of the greatest nations in the world. Learned people, libraries upon libraries, like they they were one of the, at the time they were one of the central places in the whole world for people to to come and experience culture, right? But here's the problem: uh, Nebuchadnezzar was a very prideful person, which. Like if you rule over the greatest nation during your time, yeah, you, you have a tendency to become a prideful person. And, and honestly, the people that live in that country, they probably become prideful people. Not understanding that it's not because of their efforts that they are the most renowned place on earth. It's actually because God has decreed it. And because God is blessing them. And when we fail to honor God in our successes, and we exalt ourselves and we have this pride about us, God often will make an example of us. And that's what happened to King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar was chilling one night and he starts having these dreams. You know, he's he's summoning his, his main advisors and, and he's telling them, like, yo, I'm having these dreams and I don't understand what they mean. And in one of the dreams, he dreamt that uh, he was there, he, he was chilling in his house, and uh, an angel came down and told him, um, you're, you're going to be, uh, essentially, you're going to be an animal. Like, you're, you're going to transform, you're going to lose your mind, turn into an animal. And he wakes up like, ah, oh, what, is, what is going on? And so he calls in his advisors, and one of his advisors is this guy named Daniel. Daniel comes over to him and says, I have an interpretation for the dream that you had, but man, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't wish this on you. Like, may this be for your enemies and not for you, but here's the interpretation of the dream. Unless you turn away, from how you're conducting business. Everything that Holy One said, everything that angel decreed to you is going to come true. Like you're going to lose your mind. You're going to be like an animal out in the field. That's where I want to pick up this verse that I want to read to you all today. Because here's the, here's the, here's my fear. We're living, we're living in a time right now. We're living in the country right now where the leaders and its people are so prideful. They think they are equatable to the Most High Himself. And they're doing stuff like, I just read a news article, and it's, it's super disturbing, man, how um, there's a decree that went out that we're going to create a whole new economy uh, made from bioengineering. So the same stuff that brought you uh, mRNA, uh, is now going to go into foods. It's going to go into um, travel. It's going to go into even into like they're trying to figure out how NASA can get in to this stuff, right? And it's it sounds all fine and good, right? Like it's, it has the opportunity to make us one of the greatest nations on earth, right? But essentially, what it's doing it's it's sidestepping God Himself. Which is what Nebuchadnezzar was trying to do, which is what we're falling in the trap of doing. And here is Nebuchadnezzar's story that I want to read to you. And hopefully we see it as a warning shot from God himself. So hear God's word, Daniel chapter 4. I'm going to start in 
verse 27. This is Daniel talking to King Nebuchadnezzar. He says, Therefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable to you. Break off your sins by practicing righteousness and your iniquities by showing mercy to the oppressed, that there may perhaps be a, link a lengthening of your prosperity. So he says, change from what you're doing, man, because this, <laughs> this thing is coming. Like if you don't change from your ways, this punishment is coming. Verse 28 says, all this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar. At the end of 12 months, he was walking on the roof of the royal palace of Babylon. And the king answered and said, Is not this great Babylon, which I have built by my mighty power as a royal residence, and for the glory of my majesty, of my majesty? While the words were still in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven, O King Nebuchadnezzar. To you it is spoken, the kingdom has departed from you, and you shall be driven, driven from among men, and your dwelling shall be with the beast of the field, and you shall be made to eat grass like an ox, and seven periods of time shall pass over you, until you know that the Most High rules the kingdom of men, and gives it to whom he will. Immediately the word was fulfilled against Nebuchadnezzar. He was driven from among men, and ate grass like an ox, and his body was wet with the dew of heaven, till his hair grew as long as eagle's feathers, and his nails were like bird's claws. At the end of days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted my eyes to heaven, and my reason returned to me, and I blessed the Most High, and I praised and honored him who lives forever. For his dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom endures from generation to generation. All the inhabitants of the earth are accounted as nothing, and he does according to his will among the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand or say to him, what have you done? At the same time, my reason returned to me. And for the glory of my kingdom, my majesty and splendor returned to me. My counselor and my Lord sought me and I was established in my kingdom. And still more greatness was added to me. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol the honor of the king of heaven for all his works are right and his ways are just and those who walk in pride he is able to humble man we need to hear this honestly like we we honestly need to really hear this there's there's so much that we're doing right now that we feel like we could just bypass what god has created we feel like we could bypass God's rule and his majesty. And it's to our detriment. Nebuchadnezzar found out the hard way. Are we not able to humble ourselves, turn away from this path that we're headed on? It's, it's headed for destruction. There's no good that's going to come out of the path we're heading on. We are in our attempts. Here's what, here's what we're actually trying to do. We're actually trying to get rid of God out of our lives completely we're trying to create food for ourselves not grow food in the ground from seed and the majesty that God created out of out of seed and he created that out of nothing we're actually trying to manufacture stuff in the lab and call it food security instead of teaching people how to grow stuff that God has given them we say no nah, don't don't worry about what God has given you use this thing instead of allowing the body to fight off natural diseases the way it was designed to do. We want to create stuff in a lab and say, nah, here, take this. This, this bioengineered thing that's not natural. It's actually a, this manufactured product that, we, yeah, it's causing damage, but hey, those damages are acceptable. <laughs> We're headed down the wrong track, man. Nebuchadnezzar thought he was doing great. Did you hear him say, look at everything I built with my very own hands? Is, isn't that exactly what we're doing right now? Isn't that what our leadership is saying right now? Look at what we're doing by ourselves. We don't need God. Some of our leaders are not even allowed to partake in communion of their faith anymore because they're so far off track. May it never be of us, man. Hear these words. Hear God say that he will not endure our pride. 
hear what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Let's humble ourselves before God. So that's a it's a word of challenge today, hopefully encouragement too. But I hope y'all doing good, man. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to these videos. We'll keep them moving. I know I love y'all, man. This this word is a hard word, but we need it. We need to hear it. Humble yourself today. Until next time, love you. Grace and peace.